Vuka Yordani ni kipindi cha mafundisho ya neno la Mungu kinacholetwa kwako na mtumishi wa Mungu Askofu mkuu wa makanisa ya Grace Evangelical Church Tanzania Askofu Elibariki Sumbe ndani yake kuna mafundisho ya neno la Mungu Unabii ushuhuda maombi maombezi kufunguliwa Bwana Yesu ninakusihi sasa kwa utukufu wako wa milele shuka wasaidia watu wako shuka wafungue watu wako papo waliozuia usao papo no kamata watu msukule in the mighty name of Jesus i command you evil spirit uliokalia njia zao uliokalia maanga yao uliokalia mashamba yao uliokalia ofisi zao uliokalia njia zao royo maskini lele tautumwa ambaye amesababisha watu wako kupita baba ya lipuka ondoka ondoka kwenye anga in the mighty name of Jesus na injili iliyojaa nguvu za Mungu ishara na uponyaji yote ni ndani ya kipindi cha Vuka Jordan karibu tujifunze pamoja ili ujengwe kiroho Haya ni baadhi ya matukio ya watu kufunguliwa na kuwekwa huru kutoka katika ibada iliyofanyika Dallas Texas nchini Marekani na kuongozwa na mtumishi wa Mungu Askofu Elibariki Sumbe kutoka huduma ya Vuka Jordan nchini Tanzania Kila ufalme every kingdom leo mshikilia mtu huyo that is holding this woman haribike kutoka sasa be destroyed as of now inuke akiwa na nguvu mpya and let her arise with fresh strength in the name of Jesus but Jesus name hey come out come out Jesus my name Talker. Out. Talker. Out. Talker. I jump to you. Lose this man. Talker ndani yake. Lose. Moja. 1 bili. 2 tatu. And three. Na mwaji na mwaji Jesus. Katika jina kuu. Out. Talker. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Mawazo nayo wazia ninyi. Ni mawazo ya amani. Si mabaya. Kuwapa tumaini siku zenu za mwisho. Shalom na Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mtumishi wa Mungu Bishop Elibariki Sumbe wa Kanisa la Vuka Yordani Arusha Tanzania anazuru tena nchini Marekani ambapo atahudumu kwa ratiba ifuatayo. Katika jimbo la Misor akiwa na mwenyeji wake mchungaji Ability Manuel wa Evangel Vineyard Church atahudumu kwa siku mbili katika kanisa la Christ Covenant Church tarehe mbili na tarehe tatu mwezi wa tisa mwaka 2023 muda ni kuanzia saa nane kamili mchana hadi saa kumi na mbili kamili jioni adresi ya mahali pa mkutano ni 3665 Shackleford Road Florissant Mo 63031 Misor Marekani kwa maelezo zaidi wasiliana nasi kwa namba hizi zifuatazo alama ya kutumlisha 1314530140 na alama ya kudumlisha 1314578461 kuanzia tarehe nane tarehe tisa na tarehe kumi mwezi wa tisa 2023 Bishop Elibariki Sumbe akiwa na wenyeji wake mchungaji David na Caroline Mgodo wa East Wind Ministries atahudumu jijini Wisconsin katika semina ya siku tatu itakayofanyika katika hoteli ya Madison Marriott West 1313 John Q Hammonds Drive Middleton WI 53562 kuanzia saa 8 mchana kwa siku ya Ijumaa na Jumamosi na kuanzia saa 4 asubuhi kwa siku ya Jumapili kwa maelezo zaidi wasiliana nasi kwa namba 6082395299 Mtumishi wa Mungu Askofu Elibariki Sumbe ataelekea Georgia kuendelea na huduma kwa ratiba ifuatavyo akiwa na mwenyeji wake mchungaji Filomena Gerald wa kanisa la Jesus Healing and Deliverance Clinic 
atahudumu kwa siku mbili katika jimbo la Atlanta Georgia nchini Marekani katika hoteli ya Atlanta Airport Marriott Hotel tare 16 na tare 17 mwezi wa 9 mwaka 2023 muda ni kuanzia saa 4 kamili asubuhi hadi saa kumi kamili jioni adresi ya mahali pa mkutano ni Atlanta Airport Marriott Hotel 4711 Best Road College Park GA 30337 kwa maelezo zaidi wasiliana nasi kwa namba hizi alama ya kujumlisha 1067891049 unaposikia tangazo hili mjulisha na mwingine watu wote mnakaribishwa waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya pili mstari ule wa nane alafu tutaenda waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya kwanza mstari wa tano Biblia inaandika nasema Tena nawaandikia amri mpya neno lililo la kweli ndani yake na ndani yenu kwa kuwa giza linapita na ile nuru ya kweli imekwisha kung'aa giza linapopita when darkness is passing nuru tayari imeshang'aa already the light is shining giza na nuru havikai pamoja darkness and the light does not abide together mungu ni nuru god is light ndio maana ukisoma hapo nyuma that's why if you read back there katika waraka huo wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya kwanza msari wa tano the same first john chapter 1 and verse 5 nasema na hii ndio habari tuliyoisikia kwake manake kwa Mungu na kuihubiri kwenu ya kwamba Mungu ni nuru wala giza lolote hamna ndani yake there is no darkness in him hebu sema amina Please say amen. Anaposema giza linapita. When he said darkness is passing. Na nuru imekwisha kung'aa. And already light is shining. Hapa anathibitisha sema Mungu ni nuru. Here he proved by saying God himself is Wala light. Wala giza lolote hakuna ndani yake. There is no darkness at all in him. Yesu wakati akiwa na mwili wa damu na nyama. When Jesus was in flesh and blood. Yesu alisema maneno haya anasema mimi ni kiwepo ulimwenguni mimi ni nuru ya ulimwengu. He said while I'm in the earth I am the light of the world. Na Yesu kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu yuko ndani ya kanisa. And uh, Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit he is in the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo kanisa linapaswa kumdhihirisha Kristo. So church must prove Jesus Christ. Na Mungu anapokuepo ndani ya watu wake. And when God is in people's hearts, giza litakimbia kabisa. Darkness must flee. Mungu ni nuru. God is light. Kwa maana tukisoma katika kitabu cha Isaya sura ya 60. That's why when you read the book of Isaiah chapter 60. Tukianzia na ule mstari wa kwanza na wa pili. Let's read verse 1 and 2. Nasema ondoka uangaze kwa kuwa nuru yako imekuja na utukufu wa Bwana umekuzukia. Maana tazama giza litafunika dunia na giza kuu litafunika kabila za watu bali Bwana atakuzukia wewe na utukufu wake utaonekana juu yako. Haleluya. Haleluya. Nasema na utukufu wake utaonekana juu yako. And he say his glory be shown upon you. Mungu anaposema na utukufu wake utakuzukia ni sehemu ya uthibitisho kwamba nuru yake iko ndani yako. When God says his glory will be upon you, it's a proof that his light is in you. Kuna watu ambao walizungukwa na giza muda mrefu. So, there are people that have been surrounded by darkness for some time. Giza linamwakilisha shetani. Darkness represent Satan. Nuru inamwakilisha Kristo. And the light represent Christ. Ndio maana? That's the reason Mungu aliporuhusu mwanawe apite kuzibeba dhambi za wanadamu. When God allow his son to pass and carry the sins of men. Walimkamata wakamshtaki. They arrested him and accuse him. Hatimaye wakamsulubisha. And they crucified him. Na walipomsulubisha. And after crucifying him. Saa ile anasalimu roho yake kwa Mungu. The time he was submitting his soul to God. Alipokata roho when he so departed Biblia inasema kukawa na giza nene The Bible says it came darkness the world Kumbuka became dark ilikuwa ni mchana Remember it was in the day time Lakini giza likakaa muda mrefu But the darkness took over for some time Ilikuwa linawakilisha ufalme wa adu umepata nafasi kumkamata mwana wa Mungu It was telling that the kingdom of Satan have get an opportunity to capture the son of God Lakini hawakujua badala yake Mungu aliruhusu namna hii ili aje apate utukufu wa melele kwa kufufuka kwake. But they did not know that God allowed it for him to have glory afterwards. 
Hebu sema amina. Please say amen. Kwa hiyo giza linamwakilisha shetani. So darkness represents Satan. Sasa. Now. Wakati umefika. The time have arrived. Na wakati huu ndio sasa. And the time is right now. Mungu anaambia uondoke uangaze. God is saying arise and shine. Maana nuru yako imekujia. Because your light have come. Maana yake giza halina nafasi kwako tena. That means the darkness that don't have a hold over you again. What want while you subiri majibu yao? All people that have been waiting their answers. Kutoka muda mrefu. For a long time. Nina habari njema. I have good news. Ondoka majibu yako yako tayari. Arise for your answers are ready. Na yanakwenda kutokea. And it's going to happen. Umepambana na vitu vigumu kwa muda mrefu. You'll be fighting against hard things for a long time. Na vimekuwa vizuizi. And they be obstacles. Kama ambavyo shetani. Like how Satan. Alijaribu kumzuia Kristo asifufuke. Try to to prevent Jesus not to arise. Kwenye kaburi lake. From his grave. Wakaweka jiwe zito. They put a heavy stone. Ambalo kibinadamu watu wawili hamwezi kuliondoa. That physically two men cannot push Hilo it aside. Hilo jiwe liko mpaka leo mashariki ya kati That stone still exists in the middle as is. Week iliyopita tu niliangalia hilo jiwe. The last week the man of God saw the stone. Miaka mingi iliyopita lakini hilo jiwe bado liko. Many years ago but that stone still exists. Lilizuiliwa hapo lazima huyu alijisema kwamba ni mjanja atafufuka. Tuone kama atafufuka wakaweka hilo jiwe. They placed it by say he said he gonna rise again. Let's see how he gonna do it. Ilikuwa ni giza ikitenda kazi. It was darkness that was walking. Ikimzuia mwana wa Mungu asije akafufuka. Stopping the son of God not to rise. Nuru is angaze tena for the light not to shine again lakini siku ya tatu but on the third day alikuja malaika moja tu angel came just akaja kaliviringisha lile jiwe and he rolled the stone apart na wao waliokuwa wameweka maaskari wao and the guys that they put it there maana waliweka maaskari wao kibinadamu kulilinda kaburi likae salama because they put a police officer to protect the grave to be safe walikaa watu ambao walijua hakuna mtu mwingine anaweza kapita hapo au uongo wote kapita kuja kumchukua mwili wake they put a people that they trusted these people nobody gonna uh, trespass to the grave lakini malaika moja tu but one alikuja akaviringisha jiwe came and rolled the stone malaika hakumfufua kristo the angel did not rise jesus malaika christ malaika ni mtendakazi ambaye ametumwa kwa ajili ya kuwakilisha jambo fulani angel was an worker that was sent to represent something lakini mungu mwenyewe aliye roho but god himself that is spirit alimtuma roho wake mtakatifu he sent his holy spirit akaja kumfufua kristo came and rise jesus christ Giza likapita. And the darkness passed. Giza likapita. Darkness passed. Ufalme wao ukakwisha. And the kingdom was Christo finished. Kristo upya. And Jesus rise again. Akaonekana kwenye maeneo mengi. He been seen in different Habari places. Habari hiyo ambayo walitaka kuizuia ikashindikana na namna kuizuia. That they wanted to stop it was not it was unstoppable. muda mrefu. You be stop you be stop for a long time. Giza. By the kingdom of darkness. Sani hii sasa. The time is now. Ufalme wa giza utakimbia mbele yako. The kingdom of darkness gonna flee in your eyes. Na wanapokimbia And as it's fleeting, unakwenda kuwa ushuhuda. It's going to be a testimony. Unakwenda kuangaza. You're going to shine. Kila mtu atajua Mungu amekutendea. Every person gonna understand God have done a miracle on your side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na kutamkia miaka mitimilifu. I speak fulfilled years. Miaka ya amani. Years of peace and joy. Miaka ya furaha. Years of happiness. Miaka ya kicheko. Years of love and joy. Mama majibu yako yamekujilia. Because your answer have come for you. Biblia inasema kila jambo na wakati wake. The Bible says there is a time for everything. Kwa hiyo wale mapepo majini yaliyoweza kuzuia wanadamu. So the demons and the evil spirits that block people. Kama wale maaskari waliokuwa wanazuia asifufuke Kristo. Like the soldiers that were stopping Jesus not to rise. Alikoshuka malaika mwenye nuru kuu. When the angel with the light descended. Anamwakilisha Mungu wale hai. That represents the living God. Maaskari wale walianguka huko wali So police fault Giza linakwenda kukimbia mbele yako. Darkness is going to run away from you. Ufalme wa watu walio kuzuilia miaka mingi unakwenda kutoka mbele yako. Any kingdom that have been blocking you for many years is going to flee. Hautataabika tena. You will never suffer again. Maana nuru yako imekujilia. Because your light have come. Kuna kitu kwenye ulimwengu wa roho kimeachiliwa juu ya maisha yako. There is something spiritually have been released for your life. Na utakiona wazi wazi. And you gonna see it transparently. Auponi kwa sababu mkono wangu utakuwa juu yako. You're not healed because the man Una of God will heal you. Unapona sasa kwa sababu nuru imekwisha kukujilia. You receive healing because from this moment 
the light have come for you Tatizo aliondoki kwa sababu unakutana na sumbe ukae kikao kimoja. The problem does not disappear because you met sumbe and sit with him. Tatizo litaondoka sasa hivi kwa sababu giza linakimbia, matatizo yanakimbia, wewe unabaki na nuru ile iliyo juu yako. The problem is fleeting because the darkness is fleeting and you remain with a light that is in you. Nataka niseme. I want to say. Nuru imekwisha kukujilia. The light have already come to. Kuna vitu unakwenda kuviona ambao ulikuwa huwezi kuviona. There are things that you're going to see that you couldn't see them before. Vitu vya kiroho na vya kibinadamu kabisa. Spiritual and physical things. Wakati nahubiri neno hili. As a man of God is preaching this word. Ninaona giza linavyopita. He see how the darkness is passing. Unaonaga mawingu yale ambayo yanatandaga wakati mwingine yanapopita? Have you ever seen the cloud that sometimes is sun somewhere hasa, and also moves? Hasa mvua zinaponyesha. Especially when it's raining. Alafu yanabaki mawingu fulani yanakuaga kama yanakimbia. And there remains some clouds that is, sometimes when you look at it is as if it's running. Ndicho ninachoona. Is that what the man of God is seeing? Kwa utukufu wa Bwana. By the glory of God. Ona mawingu yale meusi yanaondoka. He sees the darkness cloud is living. Na Bwana anamwambia giza linaondoka katikati ya watu wangu. And God is saying darkness is living in the middle of my people. Kuna watu wamempenda Mungu sana. There are people that have been loving God. Na wamedumu kwa uaminifu. And they they've doing that. Lakini kwa bado kuna vifungo vingine vyenye halali juu yao. But they remain some chains that have legal right over. Na wengine si kwamba walikuwa wametenda dhambi. And some of them is not that have seen. Wengine walikuwa Mungu anawapitisha kuwafundisha. Some God was allowing them to pass for he, he can teach them. Na kwa sababu wengi wao wamefaulu. And because majority have over. Bwana anaambia leo wale waliopita kwenye muda mrefu leo na wapitisha nuru ya Kristo anakuja giza linaondoka. The God says to those that have been passing through the, the darkness today the darkness is living and the light is coming upon them. Muda huo ni sasa. And the, that time is now. Asema Bwana wa majeshi. Say the living God. Muda huo ni sasa. That time is now. Neno lake ni amina na ni kweli. His word is amen and the truth. Na kuna atakayeweza kulizuia. And nobody can de- can deter it. Yesu ni nuru ya ulimwengu. Jesus is the light of the world. Kuna watu ambao ulipita katika kumtumikia Mungu. There some people have passing through serving God. Na ulikuwa ukimtii kwa kila jambo. And they be obeying about everything. Amekupima kwa sadaka. They have test you by offering. Amekupima kwa kufunga na kuomba. Test you by fasting and, and, and praying. Amekupima kwa kutoa mali zako. But uh, test you by your own Na akaona bado unaendelea. And they saw you still moving forward. Bwana ananiambia. God is speaking to the man of God. Leo nuru yako imekujilia. Today your light has shine upon you. Hilo giza linaondoka. That darkness is fleeting. Umefaulu. You have passed Umeshinda. You have win. Nuru yako itakuangaza kuanzia sasa. Your light is gonna shine from this moment. Hili ni kanisa la Kristo. This is a church of Christ. Aliyekufa pale msalabani. Who died on the cross? Walishindana na wewe? They tried to fight against you. Na wakaweza kukukamata muda mrefu. And they captured you for a long time. Lakini Mungu akageuza. But God have turned things. Akasema itakuwa ndio shule yako. He said it's gonna be your school. Na hiyo shule yako. And that school. Mungu anaambia umefaulu. God said you have passed. Umeshinda. You have overcome. Leo nuru yako imekujilia. Today your light have shine upon you. Uzima wako umekujilia. Your light have come upon you. Mateso yanaondoka. Persecution are departing. Mount inaondoka. Death is departing. Uvimbe unayayuka wenyewe. Tuma is melting itself. Kwa jina la Yesu. By the name of Jesus Christ. Ninaona mtu ambaye alikaliwa na majini. I see a person that been surrounded by demons. Kwa sababu wanangangana wanasema ana kitu kizuri huyu. Because they say it he have something ananyota nzuri huyu. Have a very good star. Tunataka kumteka. We want to take him into Na wakakupitisha kwenye mateso. And as I mean you pass through hardships. Ukapita kwenye mateso ya familia. You pass through hardships of families. Ukapita kwenye mateso ya uchumi. You pass through hardship of financial. Lakini ukasema litakalokuwa naliwe. But you say whatever will be left to me. I will not leave Jesus. Bwana ananiambia. The Lord is talking to the man of God. Paul umetiani yako. You have passed your test. Leo ni siku yako. Today is your day. Na nuru yako kujilia na giza linaondoka unajua naliona linaondoka na kuambia hakika linaondoka kwa jina la Yesu Jesus name 
Jesus. Yes. Yale ambayo yalikuwa hayawezekani. The impossible thing. Leo ni rahisi yanaenda kuwezekana. Today is going to be possible. Leo ni rahisi yanaenda kuonekana. Very easy is going to be possible. Ni wazi unafunguliwa. The open you be there. Ni wazi unapata kibali. Today you are getting the favor. Jesus. Yes. Shuka kwa watu wako e Bwana. Descend for your people oh Lord. Shuka kwa watu wako e Mungu. Descend for your people oh God. Hawa ndio watu waliokufa kwa ajili yao. Because you're the one died for them. Kila anayekufuatilia e Mungu. Whoever that is following on you God. Baba ondoa kila kifungo. Please remove every chain. Achilio thibitisho wa nuru yako. Release the, the sign of your Mama light. Mama giza kwake. Because you're taking away the darkness. Giza linaondoka kwako. Darkness is removing. Mahali popoto unaponifuatilia. Anyway that you're following the man of God. Giza linaondoka kwako. The darkness is departing from giza you. Giza linaondoka kwenye tumbo lako. Darkness is leaving your stomach. Giza linaondoka kwenye titi lako. Darkness is leaving your Hilo breast. Hilo titi lilikaliwa na giza. That breast is sick by darkness. La kansa. You darkness at his Nime cancer. Nime pawa kana Kristo. Even authority by Jesus Christ. Giza la kansa. The darkness of cancer. Kansa ya titi. The cancer of breast. Kansa ya kizazi. A breast of a cancer of fimbe. A tumor. Kwa jina la Yesu. By the name of Jesus. Giza ondoka. Darkness depart. Nuru inamjilia mtu huyu. The light have come upon this person. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In the mighty name of Jesus the living God. Ninaona utukufu wa Mungu na shuka na giza linatoweka. Ninaona kila kitu kinaanza kung'aa. I see the glory of God descending and the darkness is leaving and I see everything begin to shine anew. Kuna watu wanarudishwa kwenye nafasi zao. There some people that have been sent back to their positions. Kuna watu walinyang'anywa uzima naona uzima wanarudi kwenye nafasi yake. There are people that life were taken away from them and now the life is coming back to them. Kuna watu walichukuliwa msukule kwenye ulimwengu wa roho naona wanarudishwa. The people were taken to captive spiritual the man of God sees those people be sent back. Kuna watu wamelia kwa sababu ya misiba ya muda mrefu kwenye mioyo yao unaachiliwa. The people have been crying for the grieving for a long time in their hearts. God is setting you free. I say you'll be set free. Walikunyima raha na furaha miaka mingi inaondolewa. Furaha inaletwa ndani yako. They upset you and make you unhappy for many years. God is removing that situation and give you joy. Maadui zako wanaibishwa. Your enemy have been put. Ninaona boma lako linastawi. I see you're going to thrive. Ninaona njia zako zinafunguka. I see your ways are opening. Huo mkono wako. That hands of yours. Ulishikiliwa muda mrefu. That have been holding for many years. Na kifua chako. And your chest. Naona nguvu inapita kwenye kifua. I see a power that is passing on your chest. Paka kwenye mkono wako. All the way to your hand. Unafunguliwa. You're free. Maagano ya siri yanavunjika. The secret covenant are breaking apart. Wanaachilia maisha yako na uchumi wako. They are letting go of your life and your finances. Wengine walipewa walinzi wa kipepo ili kuwalinda wasiweze kufanikiwa. Some were put at a spiritual guided supervisors not to for them not to come out of that. Kama kaburi la Kristo walipowakilia walinzi kulilinda ile kaburi wasema lilindwe salama. Like how they release a watchman to the grave of Jesus for it to be protected. Baba asante. Father thank you. Wale walinzi wa kipepo wa majini wa ma chawi yinaharibika automatically those watch evil spirit and demons are be breaking apart and destroyed right now unaachiliwa you be let go unaachiliwa you be released nasema moja i say one nasema mbili i say two nasema tatu i say three kila kitu kilicho kama hata kinaachiliwa everything that was holding you is letting you go mji wako unaachiliwa your home are being released mji wako zako zinaachiliwa your way Huzuni ya makonjo kwenye mji wako inaondoka. The sadness that was covering your home is living. Nasema inaondoka. I say it's living. Nasema inaondoka. It's living. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Ninaona operation kuna watu wana shida sehemu za siri. I see an operation how people have problem in their private parts. Same haja kubwa na haja ndogo. Same the both side of the private parts. Kila wakati wanaambiwa typhoid, typhoid. Every time they've been tell, told it's a typhoid. Ninaona Mungu anapitisha operation. The man of God see God is passing. Hali hiyo ya mwasho inaondoka. That problem is leaving. Hiyo hali ya kuchubuka inaondoka. That problem or situation of come out. Talker. 
hiyo hali uliyochubuka muda mrefu inaondolewa sasa hivi that situation of get burned in your private part is living right now hizo ni nguvu za giza ziliachiliwa huko that is the darkness power that was over there. that was tormenting you zimehama zimekaa kwenye mapaja it's have moved and is sitting on your lap kwenye makalio sitting on your back buttocks zinakuaibisha sehemu za shit it's a shame in your spirit is a prayer come out talker come out talker Father, thank you because you're setting free your children. Na mateso haya yanaondoka kabisa. Is this torment is living completely? Na ulemavu wa kila namna unaharibika unaondoka kabisa. All kind of disabilities breaking and living. Na uzima wa Kristo unaingia ndani yao. And the healing of Christ is getting into them. Na uponyaji unaingia ndani yao. And the healing is getting them. Na kutembea kuna tiwa nguvu miguu yako. And their foot and legs have been stretched by you. Na fahamu zako zinawekwa huru. And they have been set free. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Pray Yesu makofi kabisa. Clap for Jesus. Mawazo nayo wazia ninyi. Ni mawazo ya amani. Si mabaya. Kuapa tumaini siku zenu za mwisho. Shalom na Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mtumishi wa Mungu Bishop Ilibariki Sumbe wa kanisa la Vuka Yordani Arusha Tanzania anazuru tena nchini Marekani ambapo atahudumu kwa ratiba ifuatayo. Katika jimbo la Misor akiwa na mwenyeji wake mchungaji ability Manuel wa Evangel Vineyard Church atahudumu kwa siku mbili katika kanisa la Christ Covenant Church tarehe mbili na tarehe tatu mwezi wa tisa mwaka 2023 muda ni kuanzia saa nane kamili mchana hadi saa kumi na mbili kamili jioni. Address ya mahali pa mkutano ni 3665 Shackleford Road, Florissant Mo, 63031 Misor, Marekani. Kwa maelezo zaidi wasiliana nasi kwa namba hizi zifuatazo. Alama ya kujumlisha 1314530140 na alama ya kujumlisha 1314457861 kuanzia tarehe nane, tarehe tisa na tarehe kumi mwezi wa tisa elfu mbili na shina tatu, Bishop Ilibariki Sumbe akiwa na wenyeji wake mchungaji David na Caroline Mgodo wa East Wind Ministries atahudumu jijini Wisconsin katika semina ya siku tatu itakayofanyika katika hoteli ya Madison Marriott West 1313 John Q Hammonds Drive Middleton WI 53562 kuanzia saa nane mchana kwa siku ya Ijumaa na Jumamosi na kuanzia saa nne asubuhi kwa siku ya Jumapili. Kwa maelezo zaidi wasiliana nasi kwa namba 0408935529. Mtumishi wa Mungu Askofu Ilibariki Sumbe ataelekea Georgia kuendelea na huduma kwa ratiba ifuatavyo akiwa na mwenyeji wake mchungaji Filomena Gerald wa kanisa la Jesus Healing and Deliverance Clinic atahudumu kwa siku mbili katika jimbo la Atlanta Georgia nchini Marekani katika hoteli ya Atlanta Airport Marriott Hotel tarehe 16 na tarehe 17 mwezi wa tisa mwaka 2023 muda ni kuanzia saa nne kamili asubuhi hadi saa kumi kamili jioni adresi ya mahali pa mkutano ni Atlanta Airport Marriott Hotel 47711 Best Road College Park GA 303037 kwa maelezo zaidi wasiliana nasi kwa namba hizi Alama ya kujumlisha 1678104489 Unaposikia tangazo hili mjulisha na mwingine watu wote mnakaribishwa Ulikuwa ukitazama kipindi cha Vuka Jordan usikose kipindi hiki wiki ijayo muda na wakati kama huu hapa Channel 10 Television